I mean, do you think somewhere in Positano last night, James Harden had a bowl of bolognese and was sitting there watching the game thinking, man, I got to get back in the lab and, and, and do something <laughs> to, to come out here and get yeah. this guy off the mountain. Do you think there's a universe where Kyrie Irving logged off the Zoom with Cynthia Nixon and said, man, I need to, <laughs> I need to get back in the lab. How does Giannis's win permeate throughout the NBA? Yeah, James Harden is thinking, man, if only I were 17, could just dunk on everybody. Because apparently that's all Giannis does, according to James Harden. Uh, and as for, for, for Kyrie, God knows what he's up to right now. But I'm sure it's fulfilling. It's, it's a journey of discovery and, and enlightenment. No, I, I think, you know, the, the, a lot of people are asking, what does this mean now? I, I think it means what it's always meant. If you draft a star player, you have seven to eight years to prove to him we know what we're doing. We're heading in the right direction. We're going to get there, right? We, and we are committed to getting there. We're not worried about the bottom line. We're not worried about, uh, you know, things that are five, six years down the line. We're trying to be the best team that we can be right now, right? Um, if you do not do that, at the end of seven or eight years, guess what? Those guys are going to leave. They're going to demand to get traded or they're going to leave in free agency, depending on how their second contracts are structured. So I don't think anything has changed here. Milwaukee for the last three years has been one of the best teams in the league, one of the highest winning percentages. And Giannis has been a two-time MVP and a defensive player of the year in that span. And uh, they've had playoff success, not as much as they thought they'd have, but playoff success nonetheless. So in terms of what this means, I think it means the same thing it's always meant. If you run your organization the right way, you can have a star players stay. You can have role players come take less like Bobby Portis did. You can, you can, have, you can acquire talent wherever you can find it, like a Chris Middleton via, dra- via trade, like a P.J. Tucker via midseason trade. But if you mismanage your team, you can't be mad when your stars say, you know what, I'm taking my talents elsewhere. Amino Hassan joins the show, one half of the Cinephobe podcast. You can catch him across Meadowlark Media now as well. I'm glad you mentioned Bobby Portis. Once a Nick, always a Nick. We woke up in a world today, I mean, where Bobby Portis is an NBA champion. Uh, I just looked at life differently. The breakfast tasted a little better this morning. Talk about his performance, though. 16 points last night. That is big for the Bucs. They needed him last night. Oh, no, he was the second best player. I know Middleton ended up scoring more, but Bobby Portis was consistently making shots, the only guy making shots for the Bucs when it felt like Giannis was going to have to win this thing on his own. 50 points out of 104, that's not, that's not great. So, uh, you know, he, but Portis absolutely was ma- massive. And it wasn't just last game. He did it in game five. He did it in game four. And then active on the board, good defensively on those switches, um, the right amount of energy intensity, although it almost, almost kind of spilled over there when he got that technical foul. And Chris Middleton had to remind him, hey, man, it doesn't matter whether you foul them or not. You can't go on and get a technical foul on top of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, for Bobby Portis, again, these are the stories that I really, really gravitate to. The Bobby Portis is even on the losing side of Cameron Payne. Guys that were kind of, their NBA careers were kind of in question. And they, they, they got an opportunity with a good team, showed how they can contribute to winning. And hopefully this summer, both of those guys are going to go get themselves some money. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.